Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes, North End Mazda Subaru, and Rebel Smoke. My name is Dave Madela. Last week, Phil Clough lost to number four seed, Kevin Paddington, who also faces the number three seed and former King of the Palace champion, Dan Gauthier. Let's get to Dennis Nuzzo for the interviews, and then let's get to the action. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with today's opponents, Kevin Paddington and Dan Shu Gauthier. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. Welcome back to the King of Palace show. It's good to be back. Good to have you. Now, last week, Kevin, you defeated Phil Too Tough Clough. How was that match? Very tough. And today you got Dan Shoebag Gothia. What are your thoughts going into this match? Uh, same as last week. Just throw the ball as best I can. Hope to hit my shots and see what happens. Awesome. And uh, Shoe, what's your thoughts bowling against Kevin? We matched up last year, and I was in the middle of probably the worst bowling I've ever done in my life, and somehow managed to win two matches, and then, then he came around and rightfully took me out. So I uh, spent the whole summer just changing my approach to a three-step approach. So we'll get to try it out today and see if I can come back and beat him. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll see one of you two in the 11th box afterwards, and good luck to you both. Our first one, Dan Shu, Gothier on alley three. A little wide left on the opening delivery, leaving the full Hossman right with the eight pin, better known as Dennis. The Kaliri. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. He picked up the cuh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, we got rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Shu's home alleys are um, Academy Lanes. No. He also bowls out of where bogey and um, happens to be like all over. Oh, let's do that one in the ocean. A little over just the nerves could be uh, flowing down there. I just gonna settle on the low. Get the approach down. Very important. We all know what she was capable of. Yep, he's been bowling for 33 years. His high single is a 192, and his high triple is a 458. Oh, took out the half to right on the second ball. So he's got six ugly pins up to it. That one got away from him. Looked like it slipped right out of his hand. She was um, been active in a lot of the kids' events and, and kids' shows, most notably for uh, Next Gen. He actually stepped down this season. Yep. For next gen, uh, give somebody else a shot to uh, rise to the occasion. Up now, Kevin Padgington, who last week defeated the reigning king of the palace champion, Phil Clough. He starts off wide right, leaving the cluster. Leaving the camel hump. The camel hump. <laughs> now it's got to attack the head pin here to get the spare. No. Right got a break out of that. Yeah. Left Kevin, on one, one, one three for the ten box. Yes, David. Kevin bowling out of uh, Metro Bowl in at Masons. His high average is a one fourteen. Leaves the finger of God. And Kevin's just one of those all around nice people. His wife Andrea, they're just two great people. Yeah, they're um, you know, they'll uh, do anything for you. They are very nice. And Glad they're part of the, um, the King of the Palace family. They were at my wedding. I was at their wedding. It's just that's the kind of people they are. They're just a nice, you know. Nice tight knit group. Well, he threw his first ball, missed the object, missed the head pin, but he's left the one, two, and four. The, and the four moved off its spot just a little bit yeah. with a piece of wood up behind the four. Once much again. juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, here we go. Hey, I didn't mention it last week, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was good. <laughs> Wide left on the spear attempt. If we don't make fun of ourselves, who will? Uh, pretty much everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Read the comments lately? I have. <laughs> Actually, they've been pretty positive. Yeah, we. It's all the other negativity that you hear that's not on Facebook or YouTube. And I got some positive feedback about that little Nesson rant I went on. <laughs> not and like I said, I was not bashing Nesson by any means. I love Nesson. I'm, I always watch Nesson hockey, even when they had darts on everything. Anything and to promote candlepin bowling. Anything to promote I agree with bowling. I agree with you. Leaves the one, two, and the five with some wood up against the two. And the drill is. Go right into the pocket, see what happens. He's got to get the head pin. Off to the left, right, Watch excuse me. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. He'll settle down, though. Yeah, he's got to find the spots. A little anxious, the butterflies. Well, he did say that he was trying a different approach. Yeah, I saw that. I bowled next to him in the qualifier. I saw a little difference. I bowled against him for years in the Friday Night Pro League, so you could see the difference. Yo, Shu's one of those guys. He's, yo, he's got a great sense of humor. He's not afraid to make fun of himself. And I loved it. It was so loose in the, the pre-match interview. I loved it. 
Yeah, a lot of energy. Yep. He um, you know, he's not. Oof, half Worcester left. When he's oh, not doing this, he's uh, likes to play video games and you know do fantasy football. Oh, he had enough. Rough. rough. And, <laughs> Ooh. and no. you know, um, one of the question is, you know, we asked, what do you want to see on the show? And this is more glamorous shots of himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's that's shoot, man. He's a he's a character. I love the guy. Takes out the half Worcester. Then he hits the head pin. He only takes out the head pin. And he's got an ugly six block. He had, I think he'd rather forget about this opening, guys. Yep. Like you say, Dennis. So how you start, how you win. And plus what? Set, reset and forget. Reset it and forget it. Yep. Couldn't have been said any better. He's got to just wipe it out. Up now on alley three, Kevin Padgington. Oh, he's got a shot here. Working on uh, 19. Got a shot to open up. Oh, Everybody's wide. off a little bit here. We tonight. haven't had the head pin hit yet. No. Nope. What? Seven boxes? It's that force field down there. Must be the super glue on the alleys. Try to compensate for the sun kiss. Gets it here. He's got the spare. Oh, oh wow. What a bid. That 10 pin. Over. He just kind of raised his eyebrows and looked back at us, and that's that 10 pin. Just kind of stood there. Picks up the 10. Okay. Going over to lane four, box number four, string number two. Kevin Padrington getting ready here. Like to add right here, we're up. scoring being done in between Valley three and four by professional scorekeeper Amber. And here comes Kevin with the big windup. Drops nice it. ball. Oh, the head. oh, oh wow. Look at this. Come on, fall down. What's going on Two, here, Dennis? Any four, idea? And the six left up on the deck. We've seen spread eagles. We've seen spread eagles with a friend. Mm -hmm. This is going to take a tough shot. Ooh, wanna just welcome, missed it. Want to welcome everybody, all the new viewers to the show. Um, thank you very much for watching on your local Access TV channel and on YouTube and leaving your comments. Also want to take a moment to thank our two sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass, and Rebel Smoke with two convenient locations in Fitchburg and Lemonster, Mass. And Rebel Smoke, just so you know, is the, the Ben & Jerry's of the e-cigs. They have over 51 flavors of e-cigs. Wow, that's awesome. So, go down there. Oh, oh look at this. Shoe wrecks the rack. He wrecks the rack, absolutely. Needed yep. that. The shoe hulked up on that one. He wanted a nice strike, and he got it. Shoot, turned this, right. shoot through that ball like he was like a six foot seven instead of five foot four. Well, after four boxes, he's down twelve, so he definitely needs a couple marks. Wide right. Oh, oh that's Still okay. Working. All right, come on, knock down four the horsemen one. to the left. So more to nah, may help, may know, but he's got to get the hell trick. He's got to get, drill the one and the, the two here. See what happens. Oh, Off. He hooked up on that one, too. Doesn't run with an eight fill on a strike. Nope. Now he needs these two pins for 10 blocks. Also want to take this opportunity to thank um, all the bowlers that have come out and done this month's King of the Palace. Um, it was the, great, the biggest turnout that we've had in a long time, and we could not have done this without you, so thank you very much for your support. Um, we all know there's haters out there, and... Yeah, let them talk. Okay. We love controversy, we love haters, so you want some, come, come get come some. On down, come on down, people, anybody. We always said it, David, Dennis, anybody. It's Doesn't funny that the ones always talking the most bad stuff about us are the ones who never come down to even try it. Yeah, yeah. plus the bunch. Uh, another difficult round. Weak, weak first throw. That's who he comes up with here. Oh, nice shot, Kevin. Get oh, over, get come over. On, I want to give a, a quick shout out to um, two-time, the only two-time back-to-back King of the Palace winner out of season one, Billy Palumbo. Billy Palumbo was um, unfortunately hurt in, in an automobile accident, um, so he'll be home um, watching this on his local access or on YouTube. Um, Want to wish him the very best of luck in his healing process. Um, Billy, we miss you. We we hope you get better soon, my friend. And you're one hell of a, one hell of a thrower of the pill. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you back on the circuit. The one, the two. Nice, nice shot. Yeah, nice, nice shot pickup. by Kevin Padgett. Palumbo, Billy Palumbo actually holds the um, two records for here. He has the high single of a 180 and the high two string total of 320. Off to the 
left. Oh, he's getting some action here. Definitely tell shoes bowling differently than when he was on the show uh, last season. Yeah. What you pick up here, Dennis? More of a curveball to his delivery? Or dropping the shoulder more? Or? He's... I can't remember. He's getting else. a little lower than he used to. And it looks like he's throwing the ball a little bit harder. Yeah, too. he's throwing it with a little more speed. He used to throw like a more finesse ball. Yeah, I see. <laughs> went Even he's saying, where am I going with that yeah. one? Go for the two instead of the one. Okay, he's up onto Alley four. This hasn't been a barn burner yet, man. I think somebody's waiting for a spark to happen. Could be right now. Off to the left a little bit. Uh, the ball, ball is better going down. Oh, look at this mess. You know, you've watched the ball from here. Watch it leave his hand. And it's going right where he wants it. And at the last second, it just tails away. The one, the six, the eight, the nine, the ten with some wood. He makes head pin contact. Oh, no. We have a great audience in the house. The largest audience we've had in a long time. Good to see the show growing. You know, we got some. Um, we had a whole new field. Um, a lot of new faces. A lot of newcomers coming up in the pre in, in upcoming weeks. Good adjustment. So thank you again all for um, all your support. I mean, always we encourage everyone to leave comments on YouTube, Facebook, read them all. The show got better and changed for the better because of you. Doing live commentary now. You have the King's option. New dress code. Uh, we can't, couldn't be done with all viewer comments. Interviews in the 11th box with Dennis Nuzzle. Kevin loading up the spare with a nine drop. Maybe the strike. Nope. Nine pin standing strike? there wiggling. <laughs> oh, he wanted to strike to fill that spare, but he's got a nine. A stripe? <laughs> I said strike. And just to let everybody know, the next King of the Palace will be November 29th. At 4 p.m. That's a sad, the last Saturday of November. Um, just because we are, we will be taking the month of December off to celebrate the holidays with our family. Um, Want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a, a happy Thanksgiving. Because um, this show should be just about on when Thanksgiving is coming around the corner. Yeah, it's the week after the world, which is the week before Thanksgiving, roughly. So. If if, I'm, if my math is off, then I apologize. Kevin this is like the fourth time I've seen him lead this today. Cluster bunch. Well, last week he had he didn't have any problems in the four pin. Yeah, he was all over that. He was just like a yeah. sniper. The four, he was acting like the four pin was the head pin. Oh. Dennis, you think it, in the back of the bowler's mind it's easy to hit the head pin? I mean the four pin or the head pin? Does it really matter? It depends on the bowler. Single Ball. pin's a single pin. Yeah. Even though there is a little more of a distance for this to forward. Than that. Nice okay. out. Nice out. Leads to four pin. And uh, what do we got, Dennis, after? After eight, we have Kevin Padgerton at 85 and Shoe Bag Gothier at 68. Seven. Shoe Bag? Shoe Gothier. Shoe, 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 shoe bag. bag. I think it was Shoe Bag originally. And he shorted, shortened yep, it. Yeah, you're right. He did it a long time ago. He didn't mention that Shoe Bag. I, call, I called him Shoe Bag in the pre match interview just because <laughs> it was a little zing back to him. He's <laughs> left the five, the six, the ten. Ugly. I'm going to play the wood. I wonder if the shoe would actually throw his shoe down there. Oh. Uh, if he doesn't do it after this thing, he probably never will. Well, <laughs> this goes to show you people out there in Bull Land that it, it can happen. Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's struggling. He's, a, no he's one of the pros it. on the Friday Night Pro League, so he can't throw the ball. It's just having a rough he's strength. He's not there. Yeah. Well, he'd let it could be the camera jitters, too. I doubt it. He's been in front of the camera lots of times, but it just could be just off. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. He's left the six pin. This could be the momentum he may need to step up into the second box. Yeah, big spare lead. I haven't seen any really big scores yet. Last week and this week, starting so far. Oh, yeah. oh there you go. Like a sniper. There you go. Now he wants to. Now he wants to hammer. I'll close to it. Here's the fill ball, people. Can't have been bowling. It's one ball on the spare. Added for his total of 86 plus. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow! Off to the left. Only a three. Oh, she was disappointed in that one. Up now, Kevin Paddington in box number nine. He's got a shot here, people out there in Bowling Land, to really 
Yeah, he can put yeah. some distance between him and he gets a couple of marks here, a couple of good fills. He's really got a pretty good size. Well, let's see what happens. Found the head pin. Oh, oh okay, the seven went. He's left the ten pin. Oh, yeah. ten pin with a with a guide. Where are we going here, guys? Got Way right left, in. or you're going right at it? Oh, right at it. Right at it. And if you're gonna miss, you want to miss left. left. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you don't want to miss right. That's right. There's nothing over there, man. That's the abyss. Picks it up for the 10. You talking the wrestler abyss or? <laughs> <laughs> Is he still wrestling? TNA, yes. We are all avid wrestling fans here. Steve, not so much anymore. No, I like the movies. Bobby the Brain Heaney. He was, I gotta say, he was one of my favorite managers of all time. I don't know, I kind of like the Grand Wizard. Yeah, uh, they're, yeah they're, like one, they're one and one eight. I agree. Padgy working on, um, working on a spare, four, seven, with some wood in front of the four and seven. It's gonna be a tough shot. Yeah, that wood's gonna. Holds it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got lucky on that one. He got it, he got it. Wood okay. came off the sidewall and picked up the seven. He's Thank God for sidewalls. 105 plus a ball. You'd really like to get an 8, 9, or a 10 and really open up some land and a fill. Oh, two box. Yeah. Three box. Four. Filled it with a four. After one, Dennis. After the first string, it's Kevin Paddington at 109 and Dan Gauthier at 89. Definitely Kevin has not a 20 pin lead. Definitely not a barn burn for the first match. See if Dan Gauthier can turn it around in the second string. We know he's capable of it. We'll see if he can do it. Yep. Yeah, a little disappointing there. For knowing the shoe, he's going to come back. Shoe. Just shoe. I said knowing the shoe. I can't say knowing shoe. Yeah, you could. Well, I suppose. You think the seven pin would fall down for the ball? Well, seven, nine, and ten. Look at this ugly. Well, you got to play the woodway any, left, Any Kevin. specific names for this one there, Steve? <laughs> garbage. Ugly, ugly garbage. <laughs> garbage. But once again, it's Uncle, one of... Uncle Elmer's teeth. It's one of 1,023 possible spare leaves. Uh, I don't think bowling. this is a spare leave. I think you're well, off on that uh, one. Ooh. That's not a spare leave by any stretch uh, of the means. No. But let's put it this way. A possible shot at a spare. That wasn't even a possible shot at a spare. <laughs> Do that one away for a seven box. It's the head pin and drives it. it. Lands up with a seven. Beautiful opening box. First ball delivery. Oh, what are you? Are you watching the same show we're watching? <laughs> what? How is that a? How is that a beautiful box? No, I said first ball delivery. You're not listening, David. Oh, you didn't hear me. You know how much I pull for the ball. I think he tuned you out. <laughs> no, that's right. He deserves I, I, it. I now did that in last season two. He, He's got some nice wood here. He's got to hit the middle wood here. Red line. Leaves the six and the out. ten with some wood. Should take it right out. Get that second piece of wood in red line. Mix it up. Nice First spare. Nice shot, Kevin. Okay. Okay. Shoe up. Lane number three. Okay. Uh, he leaves the six and the ten. ten. This is a more common lead than people think. Well, it's very difficult too, Dennis. It's not a very easy shot. It's not as easy as it looks. Just missed. Just a bit outside. Tried the corner and missed. <laughs> now he picks nice up ten. the ten. Why is it always on the third? Shoe on alley four. Times the head pin. Look at this. Tries to get out of the, the rut he's in. And he's left the three and a right, two three, and a left. Three, six, ten, four, and seven. Ugly, ugly, yeah. ugly. Oh, nice oh, bid. Nice, nice bid, bid on it. He was hoping for it. That was, that was the right way to hit it. He left the four and the seven for a ten box. Left the ten. 
Two tens to open up. Okay, Kevin on the mark. Lane number three, box number three on a spin. Kevin working on a spare right now. Oh, you can open up some distance here. Bangs the head. Oh, All right over here. the head pin. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Didn't it hit you? Am I this, is, this is Uncle Elmer's teeth minus the one pin that he was missing before, which was the eight pin. No, it's, it, no, it's the seven, nine, ten. It's the same leave you had oh, before. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're pretty much right. It's the same leave. Yep. How can you, how I, can you I, do it? Spraying and praying. <laughs> Oh, wow. Think, and then the, the dead bullet goes everywhere around. You think it would hit the pin for the bowler? No. It's it's bowling. It's candle pin bowling. Where else? I hear you, Kevin. Two out of three boxes, he left the same move. He's still even leaving. Excuse me. The 7, 9, 10. Dennis, tell me, how does it happen? It's unpredictable. That's why I love it. How can you leave those street back pins? You're going to come up, you're gonna have to come up for a name with that, for that one. Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll let you, I'll let you come up with a name okay. with that. We well, should call it the Padge. Okay. Uh-oh. He's wide right. He's left an ugly mess. One, two, two. four. Eight, eight and ten eight with and a ten. piece of wood Thank rolling you, up David. against the one and the two. Well, I don't know. If he drills the head pin, the wood should scatter around. Maybe he gets Left the side of the head pin. His ball off. skipped away. Yep. And he's left four, eight, ten. Oh, this is difficult, too. Well, check, go for the eight. Go for the nine box. No, oh, he tried to get the ten. ten. Good bid on it. Good bid. Yep. The nine, yep. After four, Dennis? After four, Kevin's at 43. Box to box, he's got a 24-pin lead over Shu. Shu's going to have to stop uh, making his move. No, he's got two open right here to work against, so a couple of marks, mm -hmm. tighten that gap. Shu throwing in. Pocket hit. And what wow. is going on here? Leaves the 9 7. What is well, going that's on? It's actually not too bad. He's got some favorable wood there. Yep, this is definitely not one of the 1,223 no, make one, spare leaves. 1,023. Oh, a little thin on it. You need a little more power. Yep. Well, he's left the 7 pin by itself and came up in bowling, better known as the corner of the building shot. If he makes it, then yeah, right on. Nice, 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 nice delivery. Nice now, last week, we introduced two new ways to give back to the viewers. We have the question of the day, which is where someone emails us at either newpalacelanes at gmail.com or goes to newpalacelanes.com and just writes a question, whether it's a question for one of us personally. Off to the left. Or a question about bowling in general. And if we pick your question and read it on the air, we're going to enter you in a contest for the end of the season, win a free T-shirt, King of the Palace. How's that sound? Excellent. Anything to promote the great sport of canopy? Come on. Oh, nice pitch. he was hopping. He thought he had that one. How did that pin stay up? Yes, continue, Dennis. I'm sorry. That was the question of the day. So make sure you put question of the day in the header for the email so that we know which way to um, move it as he throws another All 10. over for a 10. Yep. Waiting for somebody to make some noise here. I mean, like, we've had a glimpses here and there, but no major eruptions yet. After four, Kevin at Paddington at 43, uh, Dan Gothier at 40. Kevin's holding on to a 23-pin lead. With six boxes to go. Six boxes left. Padgett can really put the screws down right now. Put the pressure. <laughs> oh, what? Wow. <laughs> oh, one. I know, Kevin. Yeah, he's looking the up. eight ten. And now he leaves the eight ten. But he's got some favorable wood right there. Yeah, but still, he's left oh, the I seven. Understand. <laughs> uh, to, to, um, oh, these poor bowlers, they're going to be so frustrated. Which wood you play in here, guys? Spraying and praying. Yeah. Front wood? Yeah, I play, play to the right of that. Try to slide minute. it in, yeah. sweep the leg. Just like that. It up. Like that. Nice shot, guys. Nice ball. Nice shot. Angle of deflection, right? Dennis? Exactly. Yep. Okay, now he wants the, big film. Wants the eight, <laughs> nine of the day. Kevin's take a little extra time here. Bob, there's, there's no rules in candle pin bowling. How long? No, there's no time limit. There's, that's there's only no 10 pin. Time. That's right. No. Wide right. But he had a two fill, ended up with a two, seven, and 10 with a whole bunch of junk on the table. Just slams that front wood, dude. Hopefully you'll carry for him. Come on, Kevin, nail it. Let's see what happens. Nice. nice. Back there to back is. spares. Nice shot, Kevin. Back-to-back -back spares. 
We want to thank our sponsors again, North End Mazda Subaru, Nuremberg Mass, in Rebel Smoke, in two convenient locations, one in Fitchburg, and the newest location in Lemonster Mass. Two off to the left. A lot of splits going on. Is this a form of one, aces and eights, David? Um, no. no. One, that? three, seven, and eight. Why is that? Because the seven and eight are too far apart. Well, what if it was the eight and the nine? She was shooting the one three for ten box. And nice ten box. Ten. Nice ten. Dennis is dying over here. <laughs> Sorry. That's the something. Wow. Now well, five tens in a row. He's gonna have to stop marking these. Hey, so far he's doing a perfect game. Right, right again. Look at this ugly. Is this aces and eights? This eight? is aces and eights. And explain to the viewers, please, why? Because there's four pins on the deck, and two of them are uh, consecutive. Yeah. At oh, nice shot. Nice, pick shot. Up. nice spare shot. I stopped dying long enough to get that. So you had the one, <laughs> two, six, ten, so that was aces and eights. So after uh, six, we have Kevin Padgetton at 70 working on a spare, and Shu Gauthier work, uh, 60 working on a spare. Kevin's still holding on to a 30-pin lead. Four boxes to go. Shoe See ruined the perfect advances. game. Oh, oh, it's still perfect. Yeah. He yeah, threw yeah. that ball and then to this the This is called down. the Starlight Five. He put, Dennis, David. He Should be called the Red Light District. Throws, <laughs> throws a perfect first ball for Phil and takes out five pins. Come on, Phil. Oh, what a shot. All right. All right, Kevin's found it. He's got three marks in a row. Three marks in a row. Candlepin bowling. Oh, he's been waiting for this one all day long. a turkey. Long. <laughs> all right, David. Turkey. Let's call the turkey. Let's see what now happens. I'm getting hungry. I think I want some stuffing and some. Well, it is close to Thanksgiving. Cranberry sauce. Drops, the, drops the fist again, hoping to uh, drop a hammer, and he leaves. Drops eight, leaves the four eight. It's going after an eagle. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got it. Kevin Padgett four in a row. nailed it. Four in a row. Excellent. Candle pin bowling. Five Fist boxes pumping out the crowd of eight. And oh, he found it. It happens. Five out of eight boxes he's mocked. Shoe up, working on his. And he's dropped seven. He's left the triangle of the... The three, the five, and the six. Kevin started waking up a little bit. Very difficult. And he made so a you. nice shot, shoot. Yep. Nice shot. Now we're going to have a match in our hands. Getting back to the percentages again in my repertoire. 35%, I would say, David, on that. Making a triangle, one out of the six. You better rethink that. More like 50%. Oh, wow. Right, right. Oh, he didn't want that. Ugly, ugly fell for shoe. Didn't want that, unfortunate. Only took out the three and the six. Now I'm gonna come back. Off to the left. I think, I think uh, Shu's just throwing the ball a little bit too hard. Leaves the eight. A whole bunch of junk on the deck. It's gonna be a pretty tough pickup. Two, three, what? Four pieces of wood down there, all over creation. Fix it up. Perfect game for life, boys. After eight, Kevin Padgetton at 103 working on a spare. Shu at 89. Box to box uh, with the spare fill in the seventh. Kevin is up 34 pins. 34 plus a ball. Let's see what happens. Big wind up, found the head pin. Pumps the fist again and, and leaves. Look at aces this. and eights again. Look at this. Two, four, six, ten. You can't no hit it wood. any better. You found the pocket. You threw the ball 60 feet down the alley. And look what you get left with. Nice oh, try. Kevin. Try to pick it up. Try to sweep it over. All right. Get leaves ten six, out of this. Leaves a six, ten. I mean, he's left a seven, nine, ten twice. Nice, Ooh, ten. nice, nice ten. ten. Nice ten. Nice ten. So the reason why um, you want to put question of the day in the header is so important is because that leads us to the second part of our well, audience. Why did that come out of left field? <laughs> well, I don't have much time left. I keep, why I'm not coughing. <laughs> uh, which is the second way we're paying back to the viewers, which is called the Viewers Challenge. That's where they email us. 
uh, with a total pinfall that they think t uh, the match was won by. Oh, wreck, uh, nice wreck in the rack. Wreck the rack on that one. And if the... Um, this one might have just put it out of reach for Shu. Yeah, Shu's pretty much done. Box to box, Kevin's up 40. So if um, we, we pick your name and you actually guess within three pins either way of what the difference of the matches for that day, you win. And then we enter your name to a drawing for the end of the season where you could win your choice of either an hour of um, bowling coaching by me or bowl three strings against any one of us. And if someone is not close by and they can't partake in that, uh, like if they're living in California or in uh, Canada or something, you're going to get a consolation prize, and then we'll pick somebody else that is closer to participate. Four, seven, six, ten left on the deck for Paddington. Nice and beat. he leaves the six and the ten. 137 straight. Uh, yeah. Excellent. As a slow, Paddington with a slow start finishes strong. Opened up at 43 after four, finished with a 137. Obviously, the eagle helped him. Four marks in a row. Very difficult and came up in the yep. Yeah, box to box, she was down 40. He's up against uh, 28 pins. Look at Maybe. this. Look at this. He needs 69 pins. This could be done. Fortunately, the shoe. No, it can't be done. He's mathematically be eliminated because yeah. he's going to be struck out. He only has 60. Four, four strikes in a row would have been six. Well, let's see if Shu can um, turn around and finish us off the, you know, with a little bit of uh, dignity. <laughs> he already beat his last string. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. Oh, he does. Well, he it with a nine. He's left the six. Unfortunately, it's just too late. Well, if he gets this mark, gets a good fill, he's looking at a 130. Right. It's respectable. No, nope. Picks it up. Pumps his fist. I knew I could do it. He's standing on the alleys. I think I am. With a, with a 118 a and a ball. <laughs> Close to a 130 game. Okay. Final ball for the shoe. See what happens. This can of pin ball. You never know what's going on. Closing it out. Congratulations to Kevin Paddington, who last week defeated reigning King of the Palace champion, now former King of the Palace champion, Phil Clough, has now defeated Dan Shugothier. After two strings, um, Kevin Paddington, 246, Dan Gothier, 212. Kevin won by 34 pins. Kevin had seven spares and one strike, while Shu had five spares and one strike. Well, obviously the total number of marks really helped Kevin. He's coming back next week. Let's see what happens. Yep. We'll, so get we'll, see you, we'll see you guys next week, and uh, it's time for Dennis to go interview Kevin Paddington. Welcome to the 11th Box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with today's winner, Kevin Paddington. Kevin, you're starting to run the ladder. How you doing? Well, uh, not bowling that well, but I'm taking advantage of the opportunities I'm getting. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty slow start for the both of you, and then it started getting better at the end, but you managed to hang on and had a pretty decent lead going into the last couple of boxes. Yeah, I was able to get that little lead in the first game, and when I started throwing marks in the second, so I get more comfortable throwing more. Gave me a good chance. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And next week, you're going to face the number two seed, which is he's no stranger to the palace, Sean Parker with a roll-up score of 453. So good luck.